This is Credit Matters and I am Larry Whitting, Senior Director with Global Fixed Income Research at S&P Global Ratings. Non-U.S. local and regional governments will likely have more downgrade than upgrade in 2017. Although the ratio of negative rating actions to positive could be lower than in 2016. S&P Global Ratings enters the year with 38 ratings in this sector having negative outlooks and 22 having positive outlooks. At the start of 2016, there were 50 ratings with negative outlooks compared to just 9 with positive. We anticipate a continuation of the lower amount of rating activity triggered by sovereign rating movement. In 2016, just 18 of the 55 rating changes resulted from a change to the rating of the sovereign in which the LRG was located. This is a lower number and proportion of rating changes triggered by sovereign rating movement than in 2015. At the start of 2017, six countries containing local and regional governments with S&P Global ratings have negative outlooks. In the nations with negative outlooks, there are just nine LRG ratings that would change should the sovereign rating move. Three each in Australia, Brazil, and the United Kingdom. Latin America has 15 LRG ratings with negative outlooks and just three with positive outlooks. The remaining 43 ratings have stable outlooks. All 10 LRG ratings in Brazil have negative outlooks. Five of Mexico's 40 LRGs ratings have negative outlooks and three have positive outlooks. We expect most rating action in the region should it occur to be negative and concentrated in Brazil. In Western Europe, 10 outlooks are negative and six are positive. The United Kingdom has the most public ratings with negative outlooks at three as a result of the negative outlook on the UK sovereign rating. France has the most public ratings with positive outlooks, four. Fifteen ratings in Eastern Europe, the Middle East, and Africa have stable outlooks, four have positive outlooks, and three have negative outlooks. The negative outlooks are all in Russia. In 2016, rating action was limited to Kiev in Ukraine, which had one downgrade and one upgrade. Six ratings in Asia Pacific have negative outlooks and four have positive outlooks. Four of the negative outlooks are in Australia. Another Australian LRG rating has a positive outlook and three LRG ratings in New Zealand have positive outlooks. There were just two rating changes in the region in 2016, both upgrades. Canadian LRG ratings should be relatively stable in 2017, but rating changes should not come as a surprise. Five ratings have positive outlooks and four have negative outlooks. Another 37 has stable outlooks. In 2016, there were five downgrades in Canada. For more information, please read our report on the outlook for non-U.S. local and regional governments on Ratings Direct. And thank you for watching.